the garden and the whole idea of gardening, anikaria, and generally in traditional communities, it goes way beyond um, just providing nourishment. Uh, but we'll start with that. Uh, about most of, I would venture to say that most of the eight or eight and a half thousand people or so who live on the island full time uh, more or less produce some aspect of their own food. It might be that they have olive trees, it might be that they have fruit trees, it might be that they have everything, and a seasonal garden. It might just be a little patch of land uh, that they plant some tomatoes and peppers on for the summer. Uh, the importance of that uh, is actually quite interesting because not only uh, does gardening provide one with uh, nutrition and fruits and vegetables that are absolutely in season, when, and that means that when you're eating seasonally, things are at their peak uh, in terms of nutrition and flavor, but it also means that you're reducing your carbon footprint uh, because you're not shipping things halfway around the world. You're not uh, hankering after cauliflower in August or tomatoes in February. So. You, you learn to eat uh, in season and recipes that, um, you know, that are, we have plenty of recipes that are seasonal for seasonal vegetables uh, for winter, spring, uh, summer, and fall. So you're eating in a healthier way as well. Um, but the garden provides other things for Italians. Um, it has always been uh, one of the two predominant forms of exercise, uh, walking being the first one, because 50, 60, 70 years ago, people basically walked everywhere, and sometimes for hours and hours every day. But the garden also provides a very gentle form of exercise, and something that um, older people on the island still uh, participate in. They still, they still garden. So uh, every day they're out on their little plot of land, and they're picking their tomatoes, they're bending over, they're stretching, they're moving their arms to reach something, they're lifting things. So all of that, um, think about that, you know, for an hour or two every morning, they're weeding, uh, they're watering. All of that uh, is a way to keep active and keep moving and keep your body agile. So that's a really important part of staying healthy until, uh, you know, ripe old age. Uh, the other thing that gardening provides, and this is something that I've kind of learned as an inexperienced gardener and somebody who grew up in a city, uh, New York in my case, Gardening provides a kind of, uh, unwittingly provides a kind of meditation because you have to be observant when you garden. You have to look at your tomato plants and see, oh, you know, is the tomato fly on there? Is, are there stink bugs on my plant? You know, do I have to wipe them off? Uh, where are they? Have they moved from the green beans to the tomatoes yet? You know, can I, can I uh, do something to keep that away? Uh, you're, you're noticing what's in, what's coming up, what's in season, which tomatoes are ripe, which ones are still green or orange, uh, which ones are just, you know, juicy enough to pick off the vine. Uh, ditto on peppers and eggplants and anything else that you're growing. You have to be observant. Uh, you also have to be observant when you're weeding. So you want to know that some weeds, for example, are good and you collect them and eat them. Uh, in the summertime uh, on Icaria and throughout Greece, that would be things like purslane. Uh, which I mentioned and talked about in a previous video, and vlita, or amaranth greens, which are the green of summer, and they just grow everywhere, um, in everyone's garden, uh, and they're there for the picking, and we find them in restaurants. But the idea that the garden provides much more than simple nourishment is, is one of the most basic tenets of um, how and why people live a long and healthy life, uh, uh, generally speaking, uh, on, on the Greek island of Ikaria. Uh, nutrition, eating seasonally, understanding what's in season, being observant, so focusing. It's kind of a, a built-in meditation practice that people have been doing, you know, forever. Anyone who grows things has to be observant. A gentle exercise, whether it's bending over to weed the garden, watering the garden, picking things, stretching. So all of those combined make gardening uh, and the importance of the garden um, very holistic and very much a part of life here, and uh, something that we can emulate wherever we are. Even if we're not growing things in our garden, we can still take those lessons and transfer them to our life in an, an urban environment by observing, walking through a park and observing nature, or taking walks every day, or doing some gentle exercise on our own. So these are all lessons that one doesn't have to be in, you know, kind of a... a paradise situation to enjoy. We can learn from, from this simple, traditional place and take those lessons, uh, carry those lessons with us wherever we are.